Um, the latest I can be out of here is one o'clock. By the way. Oh yeah, we yeah no dramas today. Awesome. I'm, I am pretty tired. I rode my bike yeah. to work. Oh my god. <laughs> Tested the knee With your knee, yeah Tested the knee what It the took fuck? me About 50 minutes To get there Jesus. And it's, it's about 9k Oh wow Yeah, so I was plodding I yeah. was real slow What inspired that decision? <laughs> yeah No, because I, I, I used to ride To and from work every day Just yeah. a bit of exercise But I've had a knee operation So I've been off for a while Yeah And I just thought I've got to do some kind of exercise And, and I did it And um, oh, it was sore mm. So sore, so tiring Right um, Wait, and I'm unfit. It sucks, man. Sorry? <laughs> the ride back. <laughs> oh, this morning, headwind and a headwind coming back as well. Oh, my so, God. Anyway. You're yeah. a psycho. No. It's it's 9K, <laughs> man. It's not far. No, nah, um, with that knee, though. So they they knocked this guy, knocked on the door ages ago, and he said, um, we really like your house. You want to use it for an ad? And I went, yeah, sure you do, mate. <laughs> and it's just some fucking, I said, yeah, yeah, okay. And he goes, would you be interested? And I was thinking, where, what do I have to sign up to your fucking OnlyFans or something? Yeah. And he goes, he goes, no, 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 we'll come back. I said, anyway, he's just chatting to my wife. I went, I can't deal with this. So he's chatting to there. And then about a month later, he comes back and he goes, oh, and he's got all paperwork. And he goes, oh, we're, um, we'd like to shoot an ad here for road safety assumption. Yeah. And I've gone, my wife, and I just said, that's your business. I'm staying out of this. I don't want to deal with this guy. And um, it, he was a nice guy. He was polite, but I was sus of him from the start. I was like, "This is this is not right. Yeah. This is too good. Just don't don't waste my time." So <laughs> I wasn't dealing with him. And then they said, "And then they said, yeah, we want to shoot this ad." And they came in, not this one, the first one. And then they said, um, "All right, we've got to set up a kids party because it's like um, I think it's like it was texting when we we're driving or some shit." And they said, "We're going to start setting up for the the party." At about 4.30 in the morning, is that okay? Mm. And I said, 4.30? Jesus Christ. I said, and I said, I don't care. Just do what you want. Just, as long as they talk to me, just do what you want. They set up this party. Um, I can't even think. Anyway, the whole front section between the gate and the house and even on the balcony was just decked out in streamers and balloons and like little trampolines and everything. Yeah. Mate, they set, that's, I sleep in that room there. Yeah. They set it up and didn't wake me. I have, I cannot, these guys were ninjas, no joke. What the fuck? They were absolutely incredible. They set the whole thing up, no noise. It was, oh, great, oh, unbelievable. Fantastic. And then they had, they shot the ad and everything. And then they said, oh, you can keep all the stuff. I said, yeah, that's exactly what I need, mate. Balloons and streamers. <laughs> um, and like 50 litres of Coke. Um, anyway, and then they, um, I said, yeah, that's good. And then the ad came out, I thought it was fine. And they said, oh, we want to do another one. So I went, all right, they're legit now. And they were doing fine for racing. So this is it. So these are the guys here. So all that happened is he rocks up and she <laughs> – this took like 12 hours to shoot, by the way, this 30 seconds. What? So he rocks up on a date to pick her up and she's going, no, nah, <laughs> I don't want a bike. And then he rocks up on a horse and she goes, oh, hooray, horse. horse. He, he was a good guy as well. They go there. Is that a real horse? Yeah. Yeah. They had the whole thing set up here. No joke. They had like pads. I don't think you can see the horses. What it's standing, now, standing on a big pad. Oh, okay. Guy had one of the most savage comb-overs I've ever seen from a 21-year-old. Really? Oh, it was <laughs> deep. Like, me to you away, mm. you couldn't tell. But, oh, mate, it we was... get up close. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Good guy, though. Good on him. He's doing, he's doing the do. Um, that's the ad. That's crazy. Did they pay you or anything? Yeah, that's that's, that's the beauty, right? Um, I've gone to the missus. Did we get? Um, I didn't even know. I just went. Well, they can use it. I don't give a shit. Yeah. And um, you know, the kids like it. Harry's in the first one. He's just sitting on the fence, just staring at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, um, "This like little ginger oh, fucking shit. kid." Like, hang on, this isn't. Oh, you don't even care a fuck. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. Mm. Doesn't matter. And um. Yeah, they got like there's about there's about like twenty kids in the front yard. Oh, that's your drink, by the way, mate. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, it's water. Don't spill it. Don't fucking spill it. Okay, that's all I'm asking. Just don't spill it. Um, <laughs> Please spill it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do, you're gonna do ya. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, anyhow, there's about twenty kids in the front yard, and and if and you know the kids. But the parents were something else, right? These kids are all average age of, say, four to eight. 
the young kids. Okay. But these parents had got these kids just just dressed up. I swear there's a boy in makeup, right? Oh. And um, they were like, they were all standing behind the camera, and they were like, "Get to the front, get to the front!" Like they wanted their kids to be oh like my split. God. Yeah, it like was, anyone watching the ad would give a shit about their kid in the yeah, background anyway. I know, but they were these these parents were like those parents that you, that you see yeah. that are like, "No, my kid's got to be at the front." <laughs> yeah, and they just got to be, you know, no, get at the front and you know and stand and smile. Wow. Like, my kids just hanging on the fence and all the like because they said, "Oh." We'll pretend to watch the car drive past all the kids like that and my kids just there standing just staring <laughs> straight at the camera oh, what? What? he's up the front just hanging on the fence oh, Jesus mate what are you doing mate, just the vision the visual of your son doing that <laughs> Harry so fun, yeah. Jeez. Harry specifically <laughs> oh yeah um, the other one was in there playing Lego or something he couldn't give a shit yeah. he's like no nah, I don't want to play. he's like do we get to keep the drinks yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes you do mate just calm down that's um, awesome. What else? Anything else? Uh, ba- oh, yeah. Barry Hall lost. Oh, wasn't that, that right? happened. Yeah, first round. Did you see it? Out. No, I didn't. He just got demolished, didn't yeah. he? That when was you were seeing sad. him on the pads, it was kind of clear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he was pretty good. But uh, Also, I was meant to point out, the best thing is to talk into the microphone as well, not just, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that makes it so much easier for me. My bad. So much. <laughs> it, wow, it does make a difference. Oh, it does. <laughs> Huge difference. You, you can tell if you can just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it how's the how's the headphone volume on that one? Oh, it's good, yeah. That's fine. good. Yours Mine's good? perfect. Okay, yeah, beautiful. Um, yeah, Barry Hall. He just uh, uh, Sonny Bill just was gone. I'm going to end mm. this as soon as possible and just smoked but him, didn't he? Sonny Bill has like eight professional fights or something. Sonny like Bill can fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but Barry like, Hall's just old. It's like, yeah. it's like me getting in there. Yeah. So I like his logic of like I punch some guys on the AFL field. Oh, let's do it in a ring. Now. Yeah, like, I'm. I'm he, I think he used to be a kickboxer from memory. He definitely oh, looked really? like he boxed. He just yeah. looks like he's a bit old for it, you know. Mm. Oh yeah, it just yeah. looked slow to me. Like it wasn't it's terrible unknown. technique or anything like that. It was just like look at the comparison of like mm. how much better this guy looks fitness wise and conditioning yeah. and everything. It was like it's just an age thing, man. Time caught up. Yeah, and how old would he be? Forty one or something. Yeah, I know. Probably older old. than forty one. No, I thought, I, yeah, Barry. Look, I yeah. thought he was late forties now. Yeah. Let's have a look. No, I think he's younger than me. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, he's... Um, yes, he's exactly the same as me. He's about six months uh, young, uh, older than me. That's pretty old. <laughs> that's real old. He's had a hard life me. on the field too. A lot of injuries and recoveries. Yeah, that's true. I've had a hard life at work. <laughs> All my injuries. Riding your bike. <laughs> on a bike, yeah. It's a piece yeah. of crap bike. So um, if... Uh, oh, jeez, let's not get on the only fans, is it, are we? <laughs> You've got that. You got that queued up. For <laughs> well, us. I did. I did have a look. It's at not that. Jessica Andrade, is it? <laughs> <laughs> if I have to see that, that was fine. Pearl Gonzalez. It was. Oh, Pearl. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah nice. It's yeah. Was good. And um, Barb Hornick. No, Barb. Barb. Yeah, yeah, we've talked about Barb before. Yeah, just because of the name. Yeah, she's got an OnlyFans. Barb. Barb. Is it even Barbara? Or is it just Barb? Uh, just Barb. <laughs> Barb. That's horrible. Let's what were your parents down. thinking? That's a bad one. Oh, no. What's that? Yeah, if people can't tell, Alec isn't here today, so... Oh, it's so good. The room smells yeah. so much better. There's like a new energy. It's, oh, it's, it's like, so good. It's refreshing. I where really is like that it. clown today, by the way? Oh, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know where he is. I think he's working or something. No, it's like a loser. <laughs> yeah, he's um, he's something different. Uh, so if you if you want to do... So do you want to introduce yourself? This will be great. This, I can't wait. This will be quality viewing, everyone. Get prepared yourself for the next 20 seconds guys because it's gonna be great <laughs> tell uh, us a bit about yourself shane oh shane please manage that cord for those headphones a bit better that's driving me insane. Do i don't care just not there just so i don't have to see that oh, I'll flip it around the other there we go just have a de- there we go that's all right Is that better? that's all right perfect <sighs> off to a good start a bit more concise <laughs> i'll just i just won't look at it I don't know. <laughs> go, go ahead i don't know uh not a lot to say. Just yeah. How do you know this peanut next to you? We, we worked at yeah. Coles Shopping Centre together. Jeez, which one? Uh, Cardinia. Cool. Not too Jeez. Far from here, actually. Fucking yeah. shithole. <laughs> nice to see the language. We, Sorry. We try to keep, we've got to keep language down as well, where he just wrecks it every single <laughs> he week. He gave me a little warning but <laughs> about the language. Yeah. He's just dropped out. the f bomb about six times <laughs> already. Great. I told you, dude. That's it's great. So <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Coles. Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Mm. It's good. He's a trolley boy. Yeah. <laughs> They're paying. And Bunnings pay like twenty nine bucks an hour paying for that. A lot better than they did when I did it. Twenty nine. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Did you used to use the um, what are they called? Uh, Oki straps. 
Yeah, we had these like the clip straps, so not really like they start with the Ockies and then they fucking make them safer. So you get you have to wrap. Just drop the f bomb halfway through there, mate. That's, <laughs> all. No, that's fine. Sorry about that, <laughs> <laughs> Anthony. You told me. This. <laughs> I said to him, "I'm not going to say the words," but I said to him, "There's two words you can't say. Like out of everything, there's just two. And one begins with F. One begins with C. <laughs> no, two? no. One begins with N and un- uh, Oh yeah, don't drop that, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> And an N and R. <laughs> yeah, the don't say the N word, dude. <laughs> Not that he does. Why but it's just, I would say, <laughs> it sounds let, like you had to tell him because he just drops it's like, it oh, willy nilly. It's like, I don't know why you would even say that. Yeah. You know, it's a massive part of your vocabulary, yeah. but please try not to drop <laughs> it. That's how he greets people. <laughs> <laughs> Only some certain people. Certain type. <laughs> <laughs> nah, people mate. of a certain shade. <laughs> Jeez. Ah, oh, he doesn't God. come this, mate. <laughs> oh, this will be great. I told you, I was like, Brad's probably going to make the first like savage joke of the. Podcast. I'm not making a joke. I'm being dead serious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being serious. This thing, I got to tell you about this thing. This thing, I bought. Oh, this person pushed me the other day. I bought this as a nightlight for my kids, right? But it's it doesn't look bright, but it is so bright in the dark, like it's extremely bright. Anyhow, there's a problem with the button under there. Something was wrong with it. Right. Couldn't remember where I got it. I got it from Kmart. And um, I was going to go back there just to ask him what the hell's going on. Because it didn't look broken. It just looked like I'm doing something wrong. Right. So I went into... um, This is going to get cut out because I'm just about to tee off on someone. Okay. (laughs) I went in. I was going past... I had in the car and I was going past um, a place... In Belmont, I'm not going to name the place, but it rhymes with. <laughs> and, uh, and I've gone in there, and I'm already having a rough day. And I've got it, and I just was taken in there to say because they sell them, yeah. And just to say, what am I doing? Is there something I'm doing wrong? Is there something with the batteries? Is there something? So I've taken it in in the box, everything. And I said to her, and I said to this person, I'm not going to say whether it's a male or female, but I said to her, um, I said. I bought this, and she goes, that's not one of ours. I said, I know. Like, straight off the bat, she was on the yeah. defense. Um, and I just said, I know. I know it's not, but you guys sell them. We can't help you. Toodaloo. Just threw that in my face, straight off the bat. What the? Yeah. Mate. That's all she said. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. That's I'm, not okay. Nah. And I've gone, <laughs> and I've gone, oh, you've got me. Even on a good day, that would get under my skin. But have you ever been that close to just really, <laughs> really <laughs> going to jail? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, toodaloo, that's the one. Toodaloo. <laughs> she said creatively. toodaloo. That, so oh. we've established what we can't say because you've virtually <laughs> just dropped everything you can't say. <laughs> Back <Yeah>. on. Yeah. <laughs> Back on. Are we actually going to get into this? We've been going 19 yeah. minutes. Can you see how we go overtime yeah. every week? That's a pretty good pre-show. I think that's pretty good. I'm just going to do this all in one today. Oh, okay. Oh, she's quite hot, this girl. So She this doesn't is... look like that. She doesn't. Can you see the TV? If you can't, I'm not moving no, any I camera. Can, I can. Is that still recording? It is. Mm. She does not look like that, by the way. Okay. If you want to, I'm happy yeah. to. What time are you going to be out of here? One. One, okay. Oh, there's no way we're going to spend 50 minutes on this. this is fucking garbage anyway. <laughs> All right, so what... Okay, so what you have to do here is... Right, you don't do any research. You rock up hungover. <laughs> and then what I've written there... Is that TV working? Yeah. Okay, so is that... Copy. Beautiful. Okay, yeah. and what happens is... Just before I say something, you read it off there and pretend that you thought of it, okay? That's all Alec does, and it pisses me off yeah. so much. It's true. You go, oh, yeah, Brady's uh, 13 and 1. You go, yeah, I know, because yeah. it's written there, because I'll write it here, and he'll say it. Mm. Anyway, so <laughs> this weekend, Blades, I've got to spell Blades there. Curtis Resblades against uh, Chris Dawkins. Does he have a nickname? Who, Chris Dawkins? Yeah. He probably does. I don't know. The underwhelming. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is supposed to be Jan and Rachik was supposed to headline this card. Do you oh, remember that? Right, yeah. Yeah, and that got canned. Yeah. That would have been all right. Rachik. What do you reckon, Rachik? Overrated? Oh, no. I think he's really good. He's, he's a bit good. boring, though. But for someone that looks like that, you think he'd just be fucking dominating. Yeah. Decent kicks on him, anyway. Um, be interesting to see how Jan would handle the loss. Oh, Another yeah. loss. Coming Jeez. back. Mm. That'd be tough, wouldn't it? Especially mm. seeing how confident he was <laughs> and then the loss and then coming back. It's like I've noticed a lot with like the female champions, only a couple of them have come back and won 
fights after having lost a championship. Mm, yeah. And it'd be interesting. Like, I always look at that now. Rose. Once I started Rose noticing the only that, one, they yeah. just... Yeah, she's pretty sure she's the only one. To, to get her championship Straight, back, like, yeah. To, uh, to, yeah, I think you're right. Who else is... And a few of them have been offered. And it's a thing, I don't know, it seems to be a confidence thing because you see them going in and they always look like this is the one they're just going to walk through yeah. after they've had a tough previous fight. They think this is it, and then they lose. Yeah, and then this, the next fight, they suffer for it. And I'm one, like I really wanted to see Jan how he was going to come back, particularly being like he seemed very, yeah. very confident going to that last fight. It's actually quite interesting. Jeez, you, you're not like Alec you're at so all. You're so much better than Alec. <laughs> no, no. Jeez, sorry. This I, I, is crazy. What would be nice though, is if you talked actually into the microphone sorry, so sorry. I could hear it. Just adjust the damn thing. Is it, it is just it, is it close enough? I can hear myself pretty good. <laughs> I can I can hear you from I'll, I'll mute it I'll <laughs> mute it Then I'll be happier um, And yours as well Al Jermaine Oh you're the champ by the way Yes what, Does anyone even check my my results? Yeah I did I, I Alex's the one that hasn't been responding I said I said it was a draw Yeah And then it wasn't a draw You won Just to see if you oh, guys actually Yeah Usually I would But when you said it I was like oh, okay I believe him Okay so the ruling is If two people draw mm. And they're not the champ Yeah Whoever puts the tips in first gets the win. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. Yeah, that that's is fair. fair. Right, okay. Sure. I, email, I emailed those um, because I knew it was coming up and I knew it was like a 1 a.m. start because it was in the UK. Yeah. Um, did some finishes last weekend, wasn't oh, it? It was a good card. Geez. It was Very fantastic. Um, every fi- – the five uh, English won. They all won, yeah. All of them. So there was uh, obviously Aspinall. Yeah. Uh, McCann. Uh, Molly. Paddy. Uh, Paddy. Uh, the guy who knocked out Hooker. Yeah. Um, Arnold Allen. Allen. And, uh, Alan. 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 <laughs> Alan. Alan. Oh, nice. Alan. I got more. Um, <laughs> and um, why didn't they... They said four, but there's five. Daniel Craig, Scottish. Uh, Paul Craig. Paul Craig. Oh, Daniel Craig. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Bond. And James Bond. Jeez. <laughs> He's in there throwing. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> um, yeah. Paul Craig. Does, does that count? Oh, as in British? Yes, it's in English. Yeah. No. Yeah, I think it was like... Because it was in England. So like it's I reckon he was hard done by. But that did you see that triangle that he won with? No, my oh my, um, God, dude, my, my my fully legal stream dropped out. I saw, uh, <laughs> I, I saw, no, I didn't. I was asleep. It was like two in the morning. I'm he, not going to watch it. He was literally show. his like way of getting the submission was to get punched in the face. Like he wanted to be punched in the face. It was so obvious. Really? Yeah. So he like got punched, and as soon as he could like grab the arm, he yanked this guy down and got him in a triangle like that. It was Damn. so impressive. He's almost like a, a light heavyweight version of um, uh, Ryan Hall. Mm, yeah, where he's just yeah. that bit more versatile, but yeah, not as one dimensional. Yeah, not as one. No, no one is. Mm. I tell you, someone who is actually actually on is she on this card? She's on. Oh, she's on the pay per view. I was looking back through Macy Barber. Oh God! And I was, I was, I heard a talk, and then I started having flashbacks of my ex girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> that's another. That's another story, mate. Won't go into that. And um, it's funny. She got the same name. In the is this that one? Yeah, that's the one there. Oh, that's her. Jesus Christ! I'm supposed to not a photo of me there. Damn. Oh, yeah, she's that's um. A bit coldy, eh? It's so scary, dude. That's her. Jesus Christ! Still scares me. Anyway, let's not even talk about her. Start having flashbacks here. <laughs> like I'm back in now. Um, like I'm back in now. <laughs> I'm getting secondhand flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even know the story. <laughs> He's hearing like, chanting in the background. <laughs> oh, it did not end well. I was lucky to get out alive. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, Macy Barber, she's one dimensional. Oh yeah. Oh, I reckon the most. She listen. She is extremely good at her speciality, specialty, mm. Mm. speciality, specialty, whichever one that is. Specialty. Specialty. She's extremely good. Probably best in the division. But the fact that why wrestling. Yeah, mm. and, and 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 submissions, but besides that, she just she's not going to ever knock anyone out. Yeah, she's um the female Ben Askren. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I think you're right. Essentially, and they they train together, so ah, that makes, it makes a lot sense. of sense. Hey, um, do you think um, who did I tip? This is this is off topic a little bit. Who did I tip? I tipped someone the other week, and it was the absolute worst. Oh, Bobby Green against Islam. Mm. Right, I think, and and I hate to and I hate to admit it, um. <coughs> I think due to oh there it is here's the pen here's the pen I was looking for it you got to put a mark next to your name no. just just a little one don't wreck it you're up the top you're up the top 
There you go. It's a nice little one. I was looking for that pen for ages. Jesus. Is that a whiteboard marker or a pen? No, it's good. Um, I think after my Bobby Green call, I think that almost cancels out my Nunes call because I was so certain Bobby Green. Yeah. He did not even get close. I picked Nunes over. I picked Nunes. Uh, I picked Pena round three submission, round two really? submission, round three submission, yeah. 67 to one. And um, I picked that and I'd just been milking it for all I could. <laughs> And then well, I, who wouldn't, to be honest? It's, like, yeah, it's, it's a crazy goal. It almost seems lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I tipped Holly home by KO. Over Actually, so first, did I. First ever bet. That was the First one. ever. I um, did, yeah, so did I. And, That's uh, awesome. Uh, but after that, Bobby Green. I People think, were allu- like they were stuck under an illusion with Rousey for mm-hmm. a long time. She was the hype around it, and it was the same thing with you were talking about with Macy Barber, like especially at that time period where women's MMA was. Mm. They were still at that phase where, like, you're really good at one thing and then kind of That's average enough. and not good at everything yeah. else. Yeah. And Rhonda was just so good at that one thing, mm. she so just good. mauled Arm everybody. Bars. And then it was just like, well, when one person comes along who's really good at the thing that's going to beat your thing. Yeah. It's gonna happen, and then Holly was like eleventh, and it's like doesn't matter where she's ranked, man. Like, yeah. you look at her resume. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> uh, incredible boxer. And the counter striking too is just perfect oh, for what Ronda was movement. throwing at her because yeah. it's just that oh. boxing. Ronda's boxing was just like waiting for counter strikes. Ronda's so. coach also like hyped up her boxing way too. Oh, well. way too. Much. She was talking about talk, fighting Floyd Mayweather at Joe one Joe Rogan will be regretting those. Oh, that's right. Yeah. His life. <laughs> that is true. Do you? How do you reckon Ronda would go if she fought today? Uh, she'd struggle. I, I think. think it would be the same as a comeback fight. With the confidence wouldn't be there. She'd get crushed. She'd have to uh, if she only did like wrestling and jujitsu in her fights. She'd she'd fare well. I think. I reckon she'd be but maybe top five. Just, I don't think she's a chance. Right? Exactly. Gamekeeper. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. But then they. I mean, they can't take a punch like some of the guys can. Who? What females got like a like a cast iron chin? Any of them? Um, Chikagian. Zangin. Chika- oh, uh, yeah, good good call there. Who was it that fight? Zang and Joanna shocked me. Yeah. But then oh, again, yeah. Joanna doesn't hit hard. She just hits a lot. A lot. But it was still like Five both like of Colby. them were eating shit that whole fight, you know? Mm. Mm. And that's crazy considering how like good defensively both of them are yeah. as well. Yeah. Just the fact that they got hit so much. <laughs> yeah, legit. Let's get in this card. Forty-five minutes <laughs> yeah, we're in. We're talking about Jeez. every other card. Yeah. <laughs> about Anyhow, every other I did. I did actually mention Jan. Um, on the undercut, there's, there's some raw deals here. I'm just throwing that out there. Raw deals. First one is Jennifer Meyer against Manon Fiorit. Manon is going to be a contender very soon, I believe. She is excellent. What is she? She's uh, oh, she's the one that eight and one or something, right? And this this decision is that the one where we could never find the actual footage of her loss via split or something. Is that her? Um, I don't know. No, I don't think that's her. Anyway, this girl... Okay, disregard that. Okay, <laughs> this girl, I believe... She's French, yeah, she is. She, she's she got some of the best hands I've seen on a woman. Mm-hmm. Uh, she is just absolutely exceptional. And I and I believe within within two years, I reckon she's a red-hot chance of being... Um, Are we talking like aggressive striking? Yeah, and Anna? just very, very good with her hands. Yeah. Not like not as good as Holly Holmes is with her hands. Yeah. But she has four... Uh, Holly sucks at being aggressive with her hands, though, if you've noticed. She's a, I'm not, I don't like that noise that she makes when she comes forward. <laughs> it's... Yeah. But she's... Listen, she's, she's forts and pies. Don't get me wrong. But... She's just very aggressive, very confident. In a way, though, it doesn't matter because sometimes I see that and they're like, oh, they've only fought cans. It's like, yeah, but if they absolutely ragdoll or beat every one of them so decisively, mm. it's like, it's not like they're all shit. They're mm. still fighters, you know? Like, <laughs> Oh, no, I completely agree. Yeah. And she's fighting it. Okay, this is, this is midway through the prelims, <clears throat> which I reckon, third off the rank, which mm-hmm. I reckon is a horrible deal for them. So she's, fight, she's up against Jennifer Meyer, who I reckon she's going to, to defeat my, we got some odds here, Algermain. By the way, oh, good timing! I just got him up. And um, okay, so three fights ago, three fights ago, she fought uh, Valentina Shevchenko for the belt. Then she beat Jessica. As Jessica doesn't count. And then she <laughs> beat Chikagian, who beats everyone, as Algermain always tells me. Mm. Yeah. So, if Manon here, I think she's ranked about eleven from memory. Thirteen. There we go. So I reckon if Manon can get this. Where is she ranked? Where is Jennifer Meyer ranked? Number four. She's up there. She's right up there. Yeah. yeah. I don't think. I don't think she's good enough to win. Yeah. I think she's gonna. I think Shevchenko will piece her up. Mm. But 
I I think she's I just. I think anyone be shifted. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I really don't. I really don't. Yeah, I agree. Let's have a look at some UFC rankings. I, who I made the call at the start of the year for someone I can't even remember who. I who? would pick Ta- Suarez. Right? Suarez, Suarez, of course. Tatiana coming back, coming back for the belt. <laughs> Tatiana, where are you ranked, Tatiana? Delusional. She's not even ranked. Tatiana Suarez is going to have that belt. Mm. Oh wait, was it no? Wasn't it Talia Santos? Or was it no? No, it was Tatiana Suarez. It was Tatiana. Tatiana's going to win them all. Yeah. She's going to have four belts. Well, f- uh, Manon is a dollar twenty against Jennifer Meyer. Really, yeah. a thirteen ranked is a dollar twenty. Yeah, against number four ranked. That's insult. Insane. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Imagine seeing that in the middle of your fight camp. That is. Um, mm. That's something else. Manon's got that. I reckon that's a raw deal. They should have swap- swapped her out for the. Um, th- oh, don't even get me on that. I'll get onto that later. <laughs> Chris Gutierrez is back. Only Hell one yeah. of the very few guys to stop Tom through um, leg kicks. He is very good. His wrestling is questionable. I yeah. like Chris. I'm a huge fan. I'm not saying anything bad about him. He's up against Mongolian KO artist, I called him, Dana. Mm-hmm. It's not Dana. It's Dana. But <laughs> That's I'm, a good fight. I'm going to struggle with these last names today. Dana Baccarol. Baccarol. So. Thank you. It is actually quite easy when you say it. Mm. That'll be a good fight. This is prelims. Just stylistically. This like is yeah. midway. Something like a kick-heavy guy against the KO hands. So, like, mm. I like that a lot. Yeah. The beauty is neither of these guys are big on the ground, mm. and they're both excellent strikers. Chris's leg kicks are just Exceptional. I am a big fan of Chris. He might take the power out of his hands, eh? It'll be interesting. Is this he a calf kicker good. as well, or mainly just the thigh? Calf. I think he finished the last one on calf kicks. He, um, oh, yeah. Gutierrez had a draw. I saw UFC put up the uh, highlights of that one, I think. He, the, oh, the, the leg kicks. Yeah. Where's the TKO leg kicks? That was against Vince. That's brutal. See, he's fought. That's he's, on your resume forever. He's done well. He's fighting twice a year. Good on him, twice a year. Yeah. This one here, this draw against Cody Durnham, what happened was he Cody took him down in the first round and dominated him on the ground. Didn't do any damage, but just held him down, and, and Chris couldn't get up and had a 10-8 round. Mm. And then Chris came back and dominated the next two rounds uh, and 10-9s, and you, that's why it was a draw. What do you... What do you think about the 10-8s for holding someone down and not doing shit? I wouldn't mind seeing more 10-8s. There'll be more draws. More? Um, one, I, I'd, I'd throw in a 10-7 sometimes. I think they should open it up to 10-7s too, like a bit more. Who who lost 30-23? <laughs> remember that? I don't remember who, but it was embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it wasn't Jorge. What? Jorge. <laughs> I was going to say in the, the three Jorge rounds. should have been Jorge done. versus the law. <laughs> Always, he. I don't know what's happening with him. He's going to be another Nate Diaz. I think he's just mm. just had I his time. I think he has been, but people haven't realised. Yeah, he was so good though. Yeah, he was when he fought we Wonderboy. We were just talking in the car about it. Like, how good is his striking? Like, he's a better striker than Usman, right? But then he throws the same shit three or four times yeah. in a row, and it's like, what do you expect is going to happen? It's like it's his game plans, man. Yep. Mm. Sound like such an internet like fight. No, <laughs> that's, that's like, good. I'm, like, just, just I'm still shocked that, that <laughs> someone's actually contributing something intelligent that's not me or Algermain. So yeah. no, I'm I'm uh, yeah, I got no issue with that. Make this show sound more intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with that. Um, Chris Gutierrez, how are we looking at some odds, Algermain? Chris Gutierrez is paying. Uh, Two dollars ten. <laughs> Free money. Guy. Free money. I did find my money cannon. It's behind there. I don't oh, want to get it out. I got a money cannon. But Dana yeah. is Free cash. is an oh. animal though. So he is. Mm. He is Mongolian. Um, That's not what I was implying. But yeah. No, no. Those Mongolians can fight though. Mm. So yeah. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing. They can. It' tough as hell. Some of those. I don't know what kind of inappropriate shit you guys are laughing at. But I don't <laughs> want to be part of that. Uh, also on the main, this I tell you, I'm more excited about the prelims and the main. I'll be, mm. I'll be honest. Okay, Sarah McMahon, Sarah McMahon, who if you're ever fighting, if you're ever playing UFC three, I think it is on Xbox. Choose Sarah McMahon. <laughs> Her wrestling just dominates everyone. Her and Jim Miller, the best two fighters on that yeah, game. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> Oh, sorry, COVID. Um, <laughs> I don't have it, by the so way. It's nice to not be like presenting a freaking ID for you. Yeah. <laughs> First, like, not my own house building that I've walked into and not had to fucking show a phone. Or You're something. welcome, okay. yeah. Well, you did have to, according to what, if anyone asked us, I, I, I carded you guys. <laughs> Sarah McMahon <laughs> is, is also one-dimensional. I always thought that she was going to give um, 
Rousey a run for money because mm. mm. she is uh, she's an Olymp- Olympic wrestler. She's been fighting a long time, right? She is an incredible wrestler, yep. and but she tries to use her hands, <laughs> and just her record is not that great. So she fought Ra- Jesus. That Ooh, was a while ago. <laughs> she fought Rousey back in she's twenty fourteen. Mm. And 2011 is when she started. She's excellent. I, 11 years. I tip her always. How many fighting careers go fucking 11 years though? Like, yeah. That's that's pretty good. Yeah. she's She'd have to be 38, 39. How old is she? 41. Jesus. Yeah. Christ. Still, good looking woman. She's got a good uh, a big me, fight though. Hit me up, Sarah, if you ever wanted to. Just send those DMs through. It's going to be hard against Potential Carol Rosa. Skid Row, right? she's, she um, was Pena's fight prior to Pena getting a title shot. So this is where... If That's she would have got over Pena, mm. she would have had another yeah. title shot. And now she's looking... Do you think he would have let that happen, though? I think I think McMahon is that good. Yeah? I just I can't believe she's lost some of these fights. To Rousey, I do understand. Mm. Tate, that was close. Mm. She, yeah. she nearly did it. Also understandable, though, Tate's a lot better than people give her credit for. Yeah. Being well she rounded, was. Being well-rounded, you know? I don't know how she's going to go in this comeback, yeah. though. Nope. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it at all. She either. was very good in the early days. So She was like when I said that the women had one great skill set and then were okay everywhere else. She was probably the first one who was actually good everywhere. Everywhere, But yeah. just still couldn't get on like Rousey's that level, level in that regard. Yep. Mm. And she goes quite hard on uh, OnlyFans at the moment as well. Did anyone? Really? Yeah, that, anchor. That yeah, explains by. the <laughs> driving force behind a return to UFC in my opinion. Yeah, mm. so she doesn't hold back. Oh, she does a lot. Yeah, it yeah, does a lot. I didn't see see that centaur picture. Damn. Yeah, that's old. That one. Yeah, mm. she does. Anyway, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, that's not. I don't need HR in here. <laughs> um, it's almost sad in a way, really. I will. No, it's not. It's great. Um, <laughs> I I will always tip Sarah McMahon. I think she's. I think she's extremely good. Well, I do. What if? Dana, here, here we go. Here we Dana go. White, right? <laughs> Called me. Underpays his fighters so that they create OnlyFans and he gets to see them naked. What if that's what this whole plot is this whole time? That's not. That's not the plot. <laughs> that is. It is not even close, Al Jermaine. That's something Alec could say. Yeah, that well, that's chair. Why that, I was going to say that something's in that chair. Sorry, it's I, making you silly. I've got to like do this while I speak. <laughs> he's like, yeah. He's literally. A peanut. It's insane. Hey, um, <laughs> so Sarah McMahon's fighting um, uh, Carol Rosa. She's ranked 12. I reckon Sarah. Sarah must be the favourite. If you want free money, Chris Gutierrez and Sarah McMahon. How, what, how, what are those odds looking like? Are you that confident on Chris? Oh, I am. Really? He's good. He's he is good. really good. Uh, uh, yeah, Chris 210 and Dana $1.72. Uh, and Sarah McMahon? I want to see Dana's highlights. Oh, is that not what we were talking about? Sorry. Uh, Sarah's got to be favourite. Uh, no, she's paying two seventy three. But money. that's because Carol Rose is so good, and she has a huge reach advantage. Carol Rose is oh, very good. Yeah, reach um, advantage versus wrestling. Wait, wait. So Rose, oh, Rose is on a six fight win streak. Zero and three against UFC Pies. She ended <laughs> Betch Kohea, Thicky Kohea's career. She Rose. They gave her Rosa as a going away fight. Yeah, that's that's tough. That's, that's tough. tough. You give it. You give her Jessica I. Mm. And whoever won, they both retire. <laughs> I don't <honestly laughs> they both retire. Either of those two fight ever again. That's like um, uh, Cerrone versus Lauzon or whatever, Lauzon or whatever. You know how that fight's happening? Oh, and is it? Have they like, got to yeah. do Tony Ferguson and Cerrone? Yeah. <laughs> whoever loses, retires. <laughs> no, and they both retire. And whoever wins, retires <laughs> as well. <laughs> yeah. God well. bless him. Tony's got some gas left, I think, if he just doesn't ever fight top yeah, five again. I agree. He's got money to make, in my opinion, but not big, big fights. To make. Who's mm. Tony fighting? I should know this. I saw Chandler. the size of Chandler. That's yeah. it. Mm. If Chandler pieces up Tony, Tony has to say that's enough. Yeah, probably. Chandler is going to retire, Tony. Mm. I don't mind Chandler. I, was, I wasn't I was a fan. I do like he Chandler. He has grown on me. He has grown on me. It's just an age thing again. I think 10 years ago, or like five years ago even, mm. not even maybe not even that long, Tony would beat Chandler. Or it would be a great mm, fight yeah. at least. But right now, like Chandler's lost his last couple, man. But yeah. they've been like extremely tight fights, yeah, extremely tight, and he's hit people hard. Oh man. yeah, and I'm scared for Tony's brain right now because he's yeah. getting old, and he's like, you can't keep taking shots like that. You know that who who the hell did 
the Gaichi, Gaichi fight. Oh, jeez. What did that do to his career? And it's like, that's you want to, yeah. I'm seeing that again. That's where it started. I'm literally yeah. seeing Chandler's just like Gaichi freaking 2.0, and this is just another one of those. It's mm. like, he doesn't need that again. For I his think career. He's out of his lot, so Gaichi and then Oliveira. I think Dana hates his guts. <laughs> yeah. Who? Oh, Tony. Out yeah. of those three fights, like Gaichi, Oliveira, and now Chandler, I think he's got a better chance against Chandler than the other two. I want to root for Tony. For yeah. the to- and I am rooting for him. Like, it's not that I'd want him to lose. It's like, I just think he will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. is, this is the point. I read this. There's this. Um, this is not. There's this bit towards the end where Ferguson. This is against Ferguson and Gaethje, and Ferguson's shaking his head towards the end. Oh yeah. Apparently, now I don't know if this is true because it doesn't sound. It sounds. I don't. Know, I thought it was blood, but they reckon that he was leaking, like a. How do you say it? Is it cerebral fluid? Is that? Oh, cere- yeah. They yeah. reckon like some clear liquid was coming out of his ear, and he was shaking to yeah. get it out. So I don't know what it. I don't actually know if brain fluid or matter can actually Jesus. leak. I don't know if that yeah. can even happen. I've can it? it? Yeah, I've had it out my no- nose before when I was sick. It's like a. Um, I think if you get repeated head trauma, you, I don't know how it works, but it needs to basically release pressure, so it's. Burst. Wow, yeah, Jesus. But it is part of your brain matter that's coming out. It's pretty. Sick I heard that shit. was leaking out of his ear. That and he was it's shaking. Like, it just tastes like in. salt water because I mm. used to get it down my throat and stuff. I got sick once and then went to the gym like an idiot, but. Mm. Yeah. Well, I know you do look like the type who can, <laughs> who, who will not ever skip gym day. <laughs> <laughs> I've skipped gym day for the last year, mate. <laughs> I've just skipped one gym day and it's lasted 44 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. And to round off, this is the prelims going for now. This is the prelims. Magni against Max Payne. Our guy, Max Our Griffin. Guy, Max Griffin. Here we go. Max Griffin. It's, it's the... Um, it's uh, it's the comeback of Max Griffin. Uh, he lost to Cowboy Oliveira, which was not good as a while back. I didn't expect that, eh? Uh, and since then, he's just changed. I do like him. He's gone very hard on the social media as well. He's on three fight win streak, two stoppages, and a UD over Condit. Yeah, and I'm a Condit fan, but yeah. I was I was on the Max train. I I do like Max, and um, that is that is a juicy. Very juicy. That that'd be a decent main cut. I like, um, I if, like that a lot too. Yeah, that's really thing. good. You could almost swap out the last and the main and just put Magni in. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, easily he could fit anywhere in there. In my opinion, it's a yeah, lot of I agree. semi like it's a lot of decent fights in there. Kai is going to be a good fight. Again. That's going to be good. I love Kai. Um, what, what was I going to say? What's the starting time for this? Hang on, let's have a look. Four a.m. Oh Jesus, that's all that. Harry's cryptocurrency is doing. Here we go. <laughs> Four a.m. Yeah. Jesus, where's this one being held? I think Vegas. Okay. Anyway, that's um. Yeah, I was going to say I'm not going to get up. Oh, hang on. When is it Sunday? Yes. Yeah, oh, right, I'm going to cut this bit out. Just one sec. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back. <laughs> I am. I guarantee you yeah, I am. good on you. Yeah, nice. Okay, <laughs> first up on the main card, we have Dikiazi versus, and I did, Vyash, Vyashlev, 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 Borshev. Vyash, yeah, I Vyashlev, think you got it. Borshev. Okay, hang on. Vyashlev, okay. Borshev. <laughs> All right, we're on to the, we're on to the main card here. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, I see, I can, I can edit that out. <laughs> Ma- oh, f- Vyashlev, hang on, Vyashlev Borsha, and that's yeah. Dikazi. Yeah. Mark Dikazi. Yeah. All right, we're back on the main card here. We've got Mark Dikazi versus Vyashlev Borsha. Fantastic. How's yeah. that? Good How's work. that? First time. First time, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Dikazi, I thought this guy was going to, I, I think a lot of things, but I thought this guy was going to be a challenger. Mm. Uh, when he won, who did he KO? He KO'd someone really early and was a real highlight. It was in the UK. Is that Timu? Okay, that wasn't. That's not exactly a no name. He KO'd this guy in incredible fashion, and the crowd was behind him. He's twelve and he's undefeated. Yeah. And I thought, Jesus, this guy is is going to be something it's else. Insane. And since then, he has not been travelling well, has he's he? Not good. Look at that. What's that? What is that record? Six and. Five and four. I should probably write that in there somewhere. <clears throat> um, uh, what it is, how I, how I've, uh, dis- what, what I believe has happened is he's 
not one dimensional, but he's sort of like you were talking about before with Jorge. He does the same kind of stuff. And he may have changed. He may do well here. Yeah. But he's two and five in his last seven, and that's after being 12 and 0. But it's almost like the opponents have worked out what he's going to do mm. and just yeah. nullified him. He's yeah. got Cody Garbrandt syndrome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he has. And his ground game, he he's not. He's he's good on the ground, but he's not great on the ground. Mm. And if he comes up against someone who's great on the ground, then they just take him down, yeah. and that's it. He has got KO power, I believe. Oh, he's a KO fighter. Strikes, kicks, kicks is very good. He got subbed by Hooker. That was when yeah. I went. That ground game isn't because Hooker isn't a sub specialist. No, not at all. So I, I don't know. Yeah. I think I think, but then again, Vishlev. Have you guys seen Vishlev? Yeah, he's, have you he's seen a him? monster. Have you seen what he looks like? Yeah. Tell me he doesn't look like the love child of Mark Catman and Sean Strickland. I've got some video footage of him here. I, I see the, the Sean Strickland. Just Catman. Ah, oh, jeez. I, I, I need to get YouTube premium. He's probably less of a, you know. He is dickhead. not an intimidating looking guy, is he? He no. doesn't look. He's that's, huge though, eh? That's him there yeah. in the black. I watched this. I watched the Dana White fight. So he is, he is just taking an absolute pounding. Can't you see the bit of Mark Catman in him? It's the ears. Mm. But he's got them Strickland ears. <laughs> so I was he's got the same body as Strickland. <laughs> yeah. It's insane. He's got, he takes punches to the face like Catman does. Yeah. Mm. You know this, and then he comes in and just, in the end, he just starches him. Let's oh, jeez. He does not look like a fighter, does he? No. Nah. He just looks like a... He looks like someone you'd interview for white-collar boxing. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. That punch was glorious. Can you show that again? Sorry. I, I can. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God. It's just so picture fast. Fast. Timing. Picture perfect. I wonder the if he showed him that picture before because the timing was so good. It was yeah. so <laughs> like, good. That was almost he was waiting for that hand to drop and he's like, boop. Yeah. yeah. That was good. And it wasn't even a big punch, was it? It wasn't was a it? wide shot. That's why I think he must have shown him before because he just like... Uh. Just uh, he was just ready for yeah. it. Um, the thing that hurts me the most about this is I watch him do. The, have you seen the dance he does after he wins? The, my knees hurt just watching this. Have a look at his dance. God, he looks. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> my physio has not approved that dancing. That's gross. It is. Hang on, we got it in slow motion here. Look how fast this was. Boom. Yeah, that's awesome. That is Even the sweet, kick wouldn't finish because he was punch. gone before he hit the ground. Yeah, and then didn't follow up. Yeah, good on him. I think seeing how the kick just completely stops midair yeah. is like sign enough that this this guy's done. Yeah, <laughs> god yeah, good on him for how not following up. How do you guys feel up. about the last RDA fight with um, continuing on after someone has pretty much nothing left in the tank? Mm. As in, it should have been stopped. I f- yeah, I felt like it probably could, like they could have left it going, but then RDA like there were so many times there I was like, come on, man! Like I feel like you could finish this. Like, mm. You have the skill level at this stage to stop this person. He almost just wanted to beat him up. It felt like that. It really felt like that, and I was getting hell pissed when I was watching it because <laughs> I was like, at this point, if I was the ref, I would have stopped it because I'd just be like annoyed that this dickhead's not finishing it and is being an asshole and like. Dragging this guy through to brain damage, you know. He th- that was a beating. That's that's not that great. I mean, as the as the opposition, you never want to tell this guy like, oh, you need to give up. It's like he's a fighter; he's not going to give up. It's yeah, like, exactly. But you need to make like decisions at some point that this guy's clearly like not going to finish him, and he's also incapable of fighting properly at this moment. Yeah. you know. Yeah. I mean, he had a little gas at the end, but yeah. But with some- I didn't like some of the scenes in there, like. Where he was on him and then just stopped it, you know. I, was like, I think uh, the coaches need to um, <laughs> need to throw in the towel a bit earlier. But yeah, I believe that if someone is fighting and they're losing and they're like a knockout person, um, yeah, they have right. always been known to throw that one. Look at Derek Lewis against yeah. Volkov. I mean, he wasn't copping a floor. He was he was losing clearly losing. Yeah, but. Yeah, everyone in the back of their mind just thinks. And I, if I'm watching it, and I awesome. tip someone, and I think, oh yeah, they're gonna they just land <laughs> yeah. that one punch. They're yeah. gonna do it, and they don't. They just get beaten to a pulp. Yeah. So, uh, Vyshlev, uh, what is he? So he's six and one, five KOs, two and zero oh in the UFC. 
as some people call it, like me. Uh, that's including Dana White Contender Series for anyone who wants to get on YouTube and abuse me for getting the stats wrong, like mm. that guy did the other week. Thanks for that. No more death threats. It's been nice. It's been a good week. Everyone's been happy with me. <laughs> it's because we, we stopped for two weeks. <laughs> we stopped for two weeks. Zero death threats. I yeah. think there's something in that. Um, have a guess where this guy's from. Uh, have a guess. Have Russia. a guess where Vyshlev Borshev is from. Russia. He's from California. Oh, really? Yeah, apparently. that's that, I could be wrong with that's what it said on Sherdog or something. He's from Cal- He's oh. trained out of Team Alpha Male. I'm guessing his origins with a name like Borshlev. Probably mm. Ukraine yeah. or Russia. Something or like that. No, well, it, yeah, well, it's <coughs> topology has Russia. So How does it? Yeah. Okay, well, disregard everything I just said there. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for just shutting me down. Sorry. It, did. Had, it had to be done. I did. You were getting, you were getting too, too high on that I was getting horse. way yeah. confident there, wasn't I? Yeah, so, okay. So, he's from Russia. What do you think about what's going on over there at the moment? Oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I don't want to know. I'm staying <laughs> out of this. I'm saying, this guy's chin is beautiful. Mm. He he does not mind. Um, he doesn't check kicks. He is just as tough as nails. He does not look like a fighter, though. He's one of those very um, just unassuming kind of people. Mm. He looks like a scrub. Good hands. Beautiful punches. No, nah, doesn't just... check him. Okay, thanks, Alec, for just reading that off there. <laughs> no, no, it's just, uh, if he's not checking kicks, it's you know, not good. It's a place where some pain's going to happen. For well, he got dropped a few, against Mark. He got dropped a few times with leg kicks, like just uh, like kicking the ankle, sweeping him in that Dana White contender series. But yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's still when I look at a fighter now, and and they're they're very they struggle in one area like checking kicks and things like that. I just it keeps coming back to that Francis for me for mm. how much someone changed from yep. someone that had no ground game just yeah. couldn't do anything to do that to Cyril Gart mm. that's something else that's Usman in his corner yeah in Is the background that, oh don't get me started on Usman <laughs> that fight with Conor will not happen by the way oh it wouldn't surprise me if it does you reckon probably I, I don't know it's, it's just, just an, it's just weird he would call out Usman because Usman's already got a list of people he, he's you know he but Us- Usman will say yes. No one's going to oh, say sure no to fight in Connor. Yeah. It's just like you'd think Connor would put him in a, himself in a position like where Oliveira seems like, you know, he's got a pretty decent chance against Oliveira. Better the chance than anyone else in the top five yeah. lightweight. He could possibly snake someone for that shot. I don't think he can snake anyone for when when Hamzat beats Burns. He's not snaking Hamzat for the shot. Mm. I don't think so. Yeah. There'll be way too much money and hype behind Hamzat that even Dana won't give Connor the shot first. Yeah, hundred percent. I think you're right. Mm. I think they shelved Nate Diaz and not given him that Dustin fight because they're waiting for Connor. I reckon you're right. They completely mm. shelved. It's like how long has, has Dustin and but Nate like, been going at each other asking for this fight? And it's yeah. like why would it, it would have happened? It, by now? it would have happened by now. The only fight that's going to make more money than Nate and Dustin is Nate and Connor. Like, yeah. like Nate and Dustin's a big ass fight with all the yeah. chatter and everything. Nate and Connor is probably the only one who is bigger than that, and yeah. it's an easy fight possibly for and Connor like, if he's in good shape when he comes back. Yeah, he's and massive. I wouldn't though. call it an easy fight, but it's an easier fight than Usman or any other fight that yeah, he's thinking about. I agree. No, and, and um, what's it called Dustin's not fighting for a title again, so it's like no, uh, it's, uh, the, that's that done. Shit, so, so it's especially so after what ago. Colby just did to Jorge, who's yeah. basically a very similar fighter to Dustin. Yeah, it's like you, yeah. You could gatekeep that division, but I don't think you could go past your top five. Mm. I don't even think you'd get by guys like Wonderboy. Yeah. No. No, I agree. This guy's good, huh? He's actually, he's actually got something intelligent to say. <laughs> yeah. It's unbelievable. Well, I mean, like, Connor dominated Dustin when he had his karate stance, long range, sort of slim yeah. target style. Yeah. Wonderboy is even better at that shit. Than yeah, Connor way was. better than Connor was. And his <laughs> his IQ is just ridiculous yeah. too. You know, the the Burns fight was like a terrible example of like the perfect style just mm. negating his. But style. even then, like Burns, like if you watch that fight, like Burns struggled to like close the distance oh, for, for a sure. long time. Yeah. It so. was just when he, yeah, when he was in there, it was just like their yeah. styles just didn't mix very good for yeah. a fight, in my opinion, like an entertaining fight. Hundred mm, percent. Do you reckon Connor's got a bit of chance of beating Oliveira or Gaethje? Oliveira. Gaethje. I reckon he's a better chance. Those leg kicks are going to kill him, bro. What are you talking yeah. about? But, <laughs> but that's, I think Oliveira just <laughs> wrestles the shit out of him. I think I think it's... Yeah, see, yeah. I give Oliveira like a 60% chance over Connor because of that mm. and because of the shots he's eaten. And yeah. I'm like... Maybe his chin is just not quite there now. Chandler yeah. smashed it in and Gaethje yeah. smashed it in. It's like, Connor, I don't know if he hits harder than mm. 
Chandler yet, but yeah. he well, hits pretty fucking hard. The so. way I see it. That's the language. Sorry. In, in, <laughs> in the stand-up. <laughs> it's demoted us. Oh. <laughs> not getting paid Fine for this. Yeah, no, geez, we're not top five ranked anymore. <laughs> Just beat me. <laughs> Spotify hates us now. <laughs> um, wait, are we even on Spotify? Yeah, we are. We are on Spotify. Anyway. We're on Spotify. What are you yeah, talking about? We're on about? Spotify. Like and subscribe. <laughs> um, uh, but <laughs> what's it called? We are... Uh, I think with Connor, it's like if he versus somebody, he always has a better chance against someone that stands and bangs, you know? Oh, if, yeah. If they wrestle or ju- jiu-jitsu at all, he never wins, you so know? Do you think, though, that because Oliveira stood and banged for a bit and then when he got in trouble, took him down, that that says something about how he would try and fight Connor? Or do you think he would try and take Connor straight down? Wait, Oliveira against... Oh, Dustin? Um, yeah. Yeah. Because he was throwing shot, even Oliver and Chandler, they were throwing, you know, they were banging for a yeah. minute before. You know, yeah. do you think Oliver? I think Oliver would go in there and try and bang with Connor. Oh, can yeah. you imagine that? Imagine, I mean, if, Con- imagine like- if Oliver starts knocked out Connor. And here's the thing, though, that like is insulting. <laughs> I don't know how he is now, but back when he fought Khabib, his takedown defense wasn't. I mean, it was pretty freaking good. It's, it's, <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. Like mm. it just w- wasn't enough. Not it was, for that level. It was good, you know. So and that knee that Connor threw against Khabib, yeah, if would, it was yeah. that would, much, it would was have to so get close. him to ground before I would yeah. call it domination. And getting him to ground, I don't think is as easy as people make it mm. out to be. But also, like in that Khabib and Connor fight, um, I watched uh, uh, who was it? Forrest Griffin like break down that like sequence where Khabib goes for the takedown. Connor lands that big knee. He still had the advantage and yeah. then he just and he was, it. he was on, he was um, like in turtle position on top. Yeah. And then he's gone to like, he could easily have disengaged from that position, but instead he chose to engage with the wrestling. He's yeah. He's got this like, like why over, would you do that? Yeah. He's got a hyper aggressive mentality in there. It's the same yeah. thing. I lost him the Dustin fight when he broke his leg. Really? Yeah. It was that like, why would you fall back on that? Yeah. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Against Dustin? Yeah. Bad idea. I yeah. mean, he sunk it pretty good. It's like you had a better chance getting that standing than you did falling back, you know? Yeah, 100%. He didn't have to pull guard. It was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> it was like the worst decision you could have made in that fight, and it screwed the round yeah. for him. Screwed the round because then it but went 10-8. Even, it even been... watching like that submission <laughs> attempt, you can just see his jiu-jitsu is just not. It's not the same. It's not good. Like he's, he's like it was very yeah. sloppy. It wasn't like slick at all. I don't mm. think it was ever in at any point. I think point, it's like, his understanding of like the momentum is yeah. bad. But then also like when he goes to defend that choke as well, he like oh he didn't. He didn't try to defend like the transition from Dustin being on one side of his yeah. body to getting onto the other side where he can't choke. And that's why I say he's so dangerous up until the point where you have him in vulnerable positions on the ground yeah. and then it's. You, Choose your choose your weapon. Yeah. Do you want to sub him or do you want to hit him because he loses confidence? Mm. Yeah. You see it like the Nate fight. He just all he did was the most like basic slap him and then his hands <laughs> went and then he choked him and it was like that is like he just lost confidence. You know, it's yeah. like when you you know how to drive right, but if you're mm. in a psycho situation where accidents are happening, you just forget to change gears or whatever. It's yeah. like he just forgot the simple shit. At I, that time. I can drive like a champion. <laughs> yeah, I you're just on, see you're red man. Bike. <laughs> don't don't you mention my work either. We don't we don't mention we anything. Don't talk about no, we do not even bring that up. <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't make that mistake. <laughs> no, when you're talking about death threats and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so <No. true. laughs> Um, what are, what are you even talking about here? How did we get that's to a good, That's a good line of the train, <laughs> train of talk, though. Like, yeah. Oh, that's that's our whole show. That, yeah, pretty much. I can't believe yeah, people we, don't listen. Did I don't, we go there? We've got five minutes. Let's we listen to two Mark hours of these guys gas bag about everything but the fight. <laughs> we got there from Mark and Borshev, yeah? Yeah. Who are um, you going? Who are you I'm, going? I'm actually going to remark on this one. Tell me who you're going. <laughs> I don't do it's this. It's an asteroid. <laughs> <laughs> I got new glasses. Cannot see a thing. They're horrible. Oh, okay, well, that sucks. No, I'm going Mark on this one. I, I think agree. I think this is a step up in challenge for um, Vierschlev, or however you say his name. Vierschlev. Yeah, just um, managing. I think this is, yeah, this is a high quality striker he's going up against, and like Mark is like super inconsistent. Like you never know which Mark you're going to get. No, it's a multi killer. But yeah, he, oh, definitely. Like never bet on him. But um, yeah, look, if he never bet on him, I'm picking him. He's um. <laughs> What's called his leg kicks, like, are pretty, quick. pretty good. Like, Very quick. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be the factor, I think, that changes yeah. it. Yep. So who are you going? Mark. I'm going to go Vishlev. I don't know. I, I was just I say that you're like, about to pick Mark. I think no, there's a good chance yeah. that you're right, but yeah. I think, like, when you look at it stylistically, just from that pure logical side of it, it's mm. like, I think Vishlev has too many, like, 
the, the leg kicks are going to be a massive yeah. factor because yep. he doesn't really check them. You're an idiot, Brad. <laughs> yeah. When you, think, when, you, when you look at this logically, I think which Mark, is something you Mark don't would have to, <laughs> would have to show him the same picture in his striking like multiple times if he was going to have some sort of counter. Yeah. Otherwise, it'll have to be on the ground. Mm. Well, I don't think he's going to knock Ducasey out either. I don't know. This is it tough? What are, the, what, are the, what are the odds we're looking at here, mate? Let me get them for I you. I get Borsch have like a decision or a sub chance. But then the rest of the fight, I would say, is like pretty heavily stacked for Mark. I can I can see my um, my main card tips <laughs> over the history are sitting on about 30%. No really? joke. Yeah. My prelims sit on about just over 90%. Yeah. Really? He's got a system. Do I got a system? That's interesting. Yeah, yeah it's a system, mm. and it works an absolute treat. But the main card, I just so you make it. all your money, and then you will lose them. <laughs> yeah, oh, <laughs> everything, um, everything. My, I've, been, I've been like eight, nine, and zero oh on a multi, yeah. dominating, and then finish at like nine and six. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Jacasey is paying two dollars thirty. Oh, I'm going the favourite and going Borschlev here. Fair enough. Yeah. I think that's more free money than the Chris Dana fight. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Jeez, we better, Not move, to be like on. <laughs> we better move on here. Hang on, we're in hour 17. We, uh, we might, we're going to have to move along to get out of here by one. Right. Next up we have Ia Latifi versus the old man, Alexi, <laughs> on your neck. Lati- Always dangerous, Alexi. He is. Mm. Uh, Latifi, a uh, small heavyweight. Mm. Why doesn't he go back to... Light heavy. I just think he likes eating, and he doesn't want to like cut weight anymore. He looks so high in his um, Wikipedia page, doesn't he? <laughs> he does, <laughs> doesn't he? <laughs> so he is. Geez, so he was up against when he got KO'd by Bader. Mm. I do remember that. He wasn't that far off a title shot. Yeah. That was back in 2016, he was right he up there. He lost to Corey Anderson. That Derek Lewis fight, I would have given that to Latifi. It's not even close. He clearly won that fight. He did. Derek Lewis did nothing the whole fight and somehow won unanimous decision. The crowd got into it, didn't they? It was in Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. So I reckon the crowd played well into that. Yeah. I, yeah, I have. In my opinion, I would have given that. To, I think I tipped Lewis, but I still would have given it to Latifi. Same. So he lost to Vulcan as well. Mm. KO'd Vulcan. That's before Vulcan went on the bad run and Corey Anderson lost the UD to them come on guys that Tanner Boston win was good yeah Tanner's good Tanner's a good very very good mm. I don't I'm mind. um yeah I'm definitely taking Latifi in this one okay let's go to uh, Olyanek here and yeah. I think it's better for the division if he wins than it is if the oh god yeah Olyanek Olyanek 76 fights <laughs> 59 and 16 2 and 5 in his last 7 he's been KO'd 2 out of those yeah. 5 times which is not good 44 my age Looking delightful like I am. I can't see him win again. Uh, he doesn't mind losing. He seems to... How he is now compared to how he was, say, five years ago. Mm. This isn't having a go at him. He's still an excellent fighter. He could still kick the hell out of me if we ever fought. <laughs> um, but it's it's almost like, um, you know, when someone... Derek Lewis is a, is a good example of it. As um, soon as they start losing, they just go... Or I can come back from a loss. Yeah. I, I'm just going to take this loss and deal with it, and then move on. I think that's what what he does now. Yeah, because mm. he's been dropped. He's been dropped a few times by some <clears throat> by some heavy hitters. Yeah, who was the one? Hang on, let's go through his record here. <sighs> I it was believe. the Walt Harris one. Yeah. It was the Walt Harris one for me where he, he got hit and he just he just turtled up and went, No, that's yep. it. It's it's all over. Yep. So I, I I don't think I can't see that's a shame that he's finished his career on that mm-hmm. so what's he going two and five in his last seven that's a shame I think he should pack it I think he should should call a day yeah, after 100%. this one if he loses if he, if he wins no one ever finishes on a win I reckon he should I reckon he should call it a day mm. so and with 76 fights he's got to be able to do some coaching role or something surely you'd be able to make some money outside the office surely you've been in the USC this long Surely, because so. it seems like that's the only reason I could think that this guy would continue after. The, oh yeah, keep going. Three heavy losses. They're massive losses. And then take in this guy who's like, not exactly. Let's see if we get some career earnings on this guy. He's not a walk in the park. <sighs> mm. My spelling is appalling. There we go. Uh, which is there we go. Sports daily. Let's have a look at some of this stuff. Okay, now. 
So he is. Let's have a look at his last few. Okay, so he is. Okay, I only look at show money here. That's all I'm looking at here, not win money or anything. Just sort of their base rate here. So he's 85, 85, 75. So he's around against Mark Hunt. Hmm. Oh, you beat Mark. Mark Hunt? Oh, that's with the win bonus. So he's about 80 grand. Yeah. So he's about 80 grand. So uh, fight twice a year, 160. Tax, you're hmm. down to about 90. Paying everyone 50. You're still struggling. You're not going to be surviving on oh, 50 yeah. grand a year. No. The mas- the like yeah the massages the physio the body like yeah. the food you paying your eat, team. <laughs> yeah. everything you paying get your team the gym yeah an hourly rate right? you get more money collecting trolleys at Bunnings <laughs> twenty nine bucks an hour yeah, exactly I might do that do I it do that oh could you imagine I would be so irritating to everyone <laughs> yeah. those people I'd just watch someone I go this person's gonna leave their trolley <laughs> by their car and I would just wait oh, I would yeah. lurk and I would tee off or I'd go. Here, oh, I'll get your yeah. trolley. Let me put some racing stripes down the side of your car. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez, I want to have in the do oh, I could get a bit of trouble <laughs> cut in you being a bit abrasive to people. With, with the How hard is it to turn trolley, people? Honestly. Dicks. It's like you're right next to a bay and you would walk further to the damn freaking garden bed to tip it in than you would to... Yeah. When they have to put do the effort to lift it into, yeah. into something. Like the bay was right next to the other side of your car, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> Just those people give me shits. Okay, here we go. Next up, we got Matt Brown versus Brian Bobarina. Mm. Matt Brown's old. Matt yeah, Brown is old. Same thing as the last fight, really. Mm. He gave Sanchez CT. Remember that elbow yeah. in the back of there? Oh, that my was crazy. God. That was Sanchez. That was he. Um, he looked like an old man fighting. Yep. Um, what's his name? Oh, Jesus! The guy that uh, uh, refused to accept beat Gregor. Kevin, Kevin Lee. Lee, yeah. Brian Kevin was... Lee didn't look great either. Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he he was looked quite awful. Really like, bad. Mm. Considering where he went, like how high and like mm. he was touted as the next thing in the division. Yeah, then he got choked when. out by Kiesa, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. That's unfortunate. They both look terrible. Oh no, I think I Tony think, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Tony. It was a Tony yeah. fight. They had a lot of issues. Were, oh, sorry, no. Kiesa yeah, got choked yeah, out. Kiesa by, got yeah, choked yeah, sorry. Yeah. I mean, um, Tony choked. Uh, Kevin Lee out. Yeah. It was like that was a big thing for his career, I think, because yep. it was just he just never looked the same. Mm. That's a shame. It doesn't look great now. But that was peak Tony, too, which was like, who the yeah, hell was going to be peak Tony? Tony. All right. So um, he's not great with body shots. This is like Cowboy. I've watched some footage of him, mm. and he gets a shot to the, the body, and maybe it's many years of partying or something, mm. but his body's no good. Um, he uh, still. Can, he's still got good hands. He's yeah. still can knock out. He's 41. 41. He needs to think about stopping. With the life that guy's had, he needs to stop. Didn't he retire and then come back? Sure, he oh, retired yes. a few years Maybe. ago. Maybe. I think so, yeah. Mm. Okay, he's up against Brian Barbarina. He was fighting, like, when I first started watching UFC. Like, yeah, Matt Brown, yeah. Kind of, Matt Brown, yeah. Matt Brown, the immortal. He was, mm. like, old for them. Oh, then. <laughs> and I was like, why is his name still in this paper? <laughs> <laughs> he, um, when did he first fight? Let's, have a, look. Let's have a look at this guy, yeah. I'll put the links in there. Made it so easy. So he oh, I mean, fought. Good on him, though. He's had one freaking long ass career. Look yeah, two thousand five. He yeah. was on the Ultimate Fighter Seven. I cannot watch the Ultimate Fighter anymore. So he was on UFC eighty eight. Liddell and Chuck. Oh, that's Jeez. where um, Chuck lost his belt to Liddell. That's where um, so a that fighter like like I think stole his dip or whatever, or like did something to his dip. Matt Matt Brown's dip, and then they fought because his of dip. It. Yeah, like like dip. Like you dip. Food in it and eat it. Oh, really? Oh, in the house. Yeah. yeah. Some more beef in the house. So is, then, um, is that the one? Is this Ultimate Fighter Seven? Is that the one that Ryan Bader was on? I'm not sure. Let's have a look here. Let's have a look at some of these people. Mike Dolce. Dolce. Oh Dolce. God. Um. No, CB Dolloway's on it. Yeah. <clears throat> Amir Sadala. Whatever happened to him? Okay. Someone did something to his dip. So he yeah. So then he, they, they fought because of it in the <laughs> ring, and. Uh, uh, he won. It was a horrible fight, but it was mm. just like, what? The, well, this is the dumbest like narrative you've ever done UFC. What is wrong with you? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Barbarina, seven six in the UFC. He is better than people give him credit for. Yeah, I agree. I believe, he is so much better. His losses have only been to Vicente, who's yep. fighting soon. Who's he fighting? He's kind of soon. Is he? Yeah, Vicente. I'm sure Vicente. Yeah, let's have a look at Vicente. I wasn't sure if he got a fight or not. Let me just close one. I feel of like these. he doesn't. Six thousand. Didn't Nate want to fight him? Yeah, they were talk. They were going back. He and was forth. trying to get it, and then they were like, "No way in hell!" And mm. that's a terrible fight for Nate. Yeah, um, horrible. Fight. Brainer. 
Hang on, Vicinto. No, he's got something. Something just recently. Let's have a look here. Vicinto's B- uh, Bilal. Oh, cool. Oh, really? Yeah, that'll be good. He's going to get uh, on Bilal. Oh. Well, it looks like... Our Ingmar's loses. good. He is good. It looks like they're feeding him Matt Brown then, based on his previous opponent. Mm. Really? Barbarina. Yeah. Well, you have a look. He's lost Giving it. him a chance to not freaking yeah. get cut by the looks of it. He's also Vicente, Colby, Leon Edwards, and Randy Brown. He did lose to Jason Witt, which did not help because <laughs> Jason Witt is not great. Yeah. Um, 15 of his 19 wins have come by a sub or decision. Yeah. Uh, long and fight goes better for Brian. He's been KO'd six times. Brown, KO in one. Oh, this is what I said, my results. I thought that if uh, Matt Brown can get him out early, I reckon it's a chance if he can KO him because uh, Brian – has been KO'd a few times. Mm. I think his chin's questionable. If Matt Brown can come in there very aggressive and and finish it early, I reckon he's... But if it goes after the first round, I reckon the odds are going to swing heavily in yeah. Brian's favour. No, nah, I'm, I'm taking Brian in this one. I think Brian anyway wants... And the odds, they're even. $1.90 each. Oh, really? Pick him. I'm going Matt the Immortal. Just, yeah. Oh, I'm going gonna, gonna to bodge up this main card yet again. <laughs> yeah, I reckon Matt's got this one. Fair enough. Done. Done. Everyone good? Next up. Jesus, we wasted some time early, didn't we? Next up, Askar versus Kai KR France. Who wants to hit me with Askar, number two flyweight? Askar, number two flyweight. Born deaf. He's born deaf, right? Wow. I didn't know this. There's this thing. I went into this rabbit hole the other day. (laughs) All right. There's a thing called the Deaf Olympics. Hmm. It's an actual thing. Yeah. I did. I saw it and I went, oh, this isn't right. Um, but, yes, yeah, so there's an Olympics just for deaf people. And I, I'm not laughing. I did, I'm not laughing. No, I know that. You're I'm laughing. surprised you didn't know about it. No, no. <laughs> but to me, um, it's not I, – I don't – I didn't think that, that it was enough of a difference to have its own Olympics. Mm. Like, it's yeah. not like... Um, because they, I can understand that maybe a blind Olympics. Yeah, which is a thing. Yeah. Have you guys seen, like, the Paralympics, though, and, like, yeah. how difficult it is for them to... Because everyone's slightly different with their mm. disabilities. That must be a nightmare to police. So Someone's they, missing a finger <laughs> and going, I'm running 100 metres because so I'm disabled. Yeah, yeah, they do stuff... Some other guy's like, got one leg. Yeah. They, <laughs> fit them, not even. they fit them into different categories, and that's why usually there's one person who'll just dominate in those kind of events, the performance yeah. events. Yeah. Or sometimes I know with, like... I think it's the wheelchairs or something. I noticed at the last Paralympics that they actually do give them some kind of handicap so they're all even. Oh, cool. Oh, really? They, they try where they can because there's different divisions for different types of mm. diseases and injuries. That'd be so, so tough. It'd be mm. weird be for so deafness. So I'm not sure why they wouldn't just create a division in the Paralympics. Mm. Yeah. Don't know. I, Cause not, I know how they race and everything. Like I've seen them do it and stuff. It's, it's like great stuff. It's awesome. Can, can someone who can walk compete in wheelchair basketball i think yes if you have a specific neurological mm. no but if you but can't it, it like depends. if i just if i said no i just want to compete could i compete no i don't think so mm. okay. because there's probably other factors in play like but if someone's just hasn't got the use of their legs they can play wheelchair basketball right but you also have like a whole bunch of weight in your lower body that you can use to turn your trunk and your core and all that stabilizing muscles that True. they don't have at all they're strapped in I just, I just, I just, I just had my dream of playing wheelchair basketball for Australia, <laughs> yeah, and it's been dream crushed. Of it's being the next, like, what's that chick's name who just dominated the the Olympian? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, gee, oh. okay, yeah. Let's, <laughs> leave, I know who you're talking about. Let's leave Cut. that. <laughs> let's leave that one. <laughs> oh, what is, what is her name now? Ilya oh. something or other. Yeah, Ilya or whatever. Ilya Tapura. No. <laughs> okay, that's not. Too, I'll, I'll, She's got uh, beef with Patty Pimlet. <laughs> <laughs> um, Patty Pimlet. Patty Pimlet is not Connor. Patty's gonna get. Nah. He's gonna be the Darren Till of the division. He's gonna get smoked by someone who's just. Better. He takes way too many hits. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me if that happened. He's he, good though. He has Connor the was opportunity. So good. Yeah. In his that he mm. was hands down the best yeah. in in the division. No, nah, no just doubt. Just controlling the space. It wasn't even like his specific fighting. It was like the fact that mm. he would literally own you in there and control oh, exactly where you were yep. so that he could just land his simple shot. And it was like, even when you see him throw on those crosses, how much he overextends and does all this shit that your boxing coach would slap you over the head for. It's like, because he has the perfect position where it doesn't matter. They mm. can't touch him now. Mm. It's just, it's lights out. And that's yep. why he was so confident. It's so good, Just when it? you know that that person can't touch you, but you can touch them in this spot. Mm. 
He's like, this way he's walking in the ring with his chin up, laughing, doesn't give a shit. He was confident going back, in there. Back then, man. Getting back to the Deaf Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> All right, because this got me. How would you feel like What's you funny? go, you go. Nothing. <laughs> What's funny about it? There's nothing funny about it. How bad would you feel? Not bad, but you'd, you'd feel a bit unhappy. You've gone to the, the Deaf Olympics because maybe, you thought maybe the calibre may be a little bit easier than the Olympics, mm. which is understandable. And then you go, all right, you're doing wrestling. Um, your first opponent is Asuka. <laughs> <laughs> you just go, oh my god, that'd be a hard, that'd be a hard deal. Okay, I said he's submitting everyone. He was submitting everyone t- till the UFC. He yeah. was, uh, and now he's three one and one draw, all decision, split draw to Moreno. So he was finishing everyone by sub prior to the UFC. Comes in the UFC, gets some decent. Jesus Christ, there's a cat up there. That's what it was. Like something keeps <laughs> catching my eye. A cat just stuck its head up, scared the hell out of me. I oh, love your cat. It just stuck its head up. I could, I could see that poster moving. I was thinking, is this the glasses or something? It's not in the frame. <laughs> Jesus, that cat. That cat starts knocking stuff off there. I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so he was sub everyone. Come here, so you can't sub anyone. He's up against Kai Kara, France. Uh, confidence sky high after Cody. Then again, I think maybe the confidence, maybe a little bit of overconfidence due to his team. Agreed. Mm. Agreed. People have got to understand they're not Volkanovsky and Israel. Exactly. Everyone, I, I think a lot of people think they are, and, and they're not. I think not. a lot of people don't see how off his game Cody's been. Oh, he hasn't been the same for a couple of years. What do you mean? Like, it's like Kai is still such a contender, <laughs> but you have to also look at the other side and be like, Cody's not like this is not the same Cody. It's not like. This guy could beat Dominic Cruz the way Cody beat him. You know, yeah. like that was a different Cody, and you can't say like that was the Cody that Kai beat. He just didn't. Yeah, Cody getting knocked out twice by um, EPO Dillashaw. Yeah, that 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 was that not off the same counter as well, if I remember. Threw the same shot and he got countered the same I way. Think so. There were two fights that happened, and then that people were just like, "I've had enough of you." Mm. But how bad would you feel losing your belt and then getting done again, both both by a KO to someone you hate, to someone who who is obviously cheating, yeah. and then coming back and just you need the win so bad you just lose yeah. it and got knocked out by um, what's his name? Oh, who's the guy knocked out Cody in that after? Uh, uh, Moon, Moon? No, it wasn't Munoz, Moon. was it? Um, Asunzo? No, that's who Cody knocked out. Yeah, yeah, I think it was Munoz. Pedro, Munoz, Munoz. Pedro, it yeah. was Pedro. So disregard. Mm. Anyway. Uh, whoever wins this gets a title shot. Has great hands. Uh, if Kai worries about the takedown, I believe he'll get hit. Asgar's hands are still very good. Underrated. Mm. I think everyone panics so much, more well, I would, about getting taken down by Asgar and getting yeah. subbed yeah. that you're not watching those hands. Almost like Khabib. Khabib. Yeah. yeah. Khabib's hands were underrated as well. Yeah. Um, if front kicks a fight, uh, Asgar fights long. Mm. Like you see him, he's only short, but when he punches, he's like almost reminded me a little bit of GSP fighting. You know how GSP yeah. close it? I watched GSP Koscheck actually this morning. Um, <laughs> how good is that? He just he's like from me to your way, and within a split second, mm. he's there, and he's yeah, f- unbelievable. Mm. Yeah. Um, the only thing is, Asuka hasn't fought the same calibre as Kai, with the exception of Moreno. Now, Moreno beat Kai, and Moreno tied with Asuka. I mean, he was one against Alexandra Pentoja and Joseph Benavidez. Those are Pentoja's pretty... good. Benavidez, questionable. Yeah, but Hot like Benavidez went through... Oh, yeah. Who's one... underdog? Uh, oh, odds? Uh, Kai's a huge underdog. Yeah, I, think I thought so. I'm picking Kai. 375. Same. But... I'm like I'm on the fence about it, but I'm picking Kai. I like where you're going. With delusional. This. You delusional. are delusional. You are delusional. I just yeah, I'm on the. I'm really like I don't, I'm not committed to that decision, mm. but like if I was going to put some money, I'd probably put for Kai. Yeah, fair enough. Done. Just to see because I can make more. Mm. <laughs> it's all about money with you, isn't it? I've noticed that. <laughs> Next up, we have Joanne Calderwood. Now Joanne Wood. Jesus, that's just still confusing. Joanne Calderwood's ranked seven. That division is in Barney Rubble. <laughs> Grasso, Alexa Grasso. Much, <laughs> Alexa Grasso is ranked nine. This, nothing against these two, but this should not be on the main card. Agreed. When you have got Stop. that Neil, Neil beautiful bunch, that juiceness on the underneath it yep. with 
the Chris Gutierrez Center. Magni and uh, Max Griffin, I believe, should replace that. Yep. Unless they wanted a female fighter in there, I would put in Ma- uh, Jennifer Meyer against Manon Flora. Yeah, I agree. It's going to be better stylistically, but just because people don't know their names, probably. Yeah. That's the annoying thing about it, really. But, like, Fiorot's good. Yeah. Mm. Very good. And um, Jennifer Meyer's known. Yeah, well, she's number four. Yeah. 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 It's right. very strange that she's so far on, like, the bottom. Like, yeah. Really weird that because no, you odd. can just sort of tell stylistically, Joanne Wood and Alexa Grasso is probably going to be like the one you sl- sleep through. Mm. Oh, it's not going to be. It's I don't think it's going to be a, a delightful fight. So Joanne Col- uh, Joanne Wood, she's one and three in the last four, and her only win is over Jessica I. Everyone knows how I feel about Jessica I. Yeah, uh, she's seven and seven in the UFC. Seven and seven in the UFC, Jeez. and still ranked seven because they just fill in the divisions. The the gap is I think is getting bigger between say the top three mm. and the rest. The gap is massive. Yeah, yeah. And I'm talking. I'm talking uh, the the men's divisions as well. The women's massive difference. Well, I mean, look at Whitaker and Israel head head and shoulders above. We've yeah. got Colby and Usman head and shoulders above. We haven't seen Hamza yet. Granted, but see who um, Israel's fighting next. No, they just announced that it was uh, Cannonier. That's cool. I'm, I'm happy with that. I think Israel paces him up. Same. Because Cannonier is really slow. I think slow. Israel's running out, of, running out of bodies. Yeah. And he can't make another jump. But he says he silly. wants to do the rematches for all of them as well. He said he wants to blitz the division, go back around. Well, I've not much else to do. I mean, yeah. I don't think he's That's going That's a up. dangerous, dangerous move. Mm. Yeah. Because you're going in there very confident you'll end up like Nunes. Yeah. Now, yeah. he's in a position where, like, if I go down, it's Usman. Mm. And if I go up... It's well, Texera now. I was going to say Yarn, but yeah. I just think if he goes up, he has to go up for at least like a couple of years. Mm. Oh just, yeah, he, he's not the type of guy who's going to put that weight on natural. Like, natu- sorry, <laughs> like keep it on naturally for long periods. Like, unless he just decides I'm going to go at this weight and stay there, he's yeah. not going to be doing a camp, bumping up and going down again, and then bumping up. Yeah, him against Rockhold. I'd love to see Rockhold back. <laughs> I would. I w- Why do you want to see Rockhold die? Rockhold, yeah. mate. Rockhold's good. His chin. Mm. I know. Oh, he's great. But yeah. why do you want to see him die? Yeah. <laughs> he needs, Israel. He's, he's, he's so good at fighting. Just, but why do you want to watch him die against another fighter? <laughs> it's the same thing for me with like Jorge. It's just like he's so good, but he just in the ring he just doesn't really perform to his yeah. skill level. He did not look good against Colby even before the fight, did he? No. He looked horrible. Um, Israel is so big. Mm, he's huge. I I knew he was big, but on TV he looks skinny as. It's crazy because oh, everyone thought John Jones was this rangy prick for his division, but it's mm. like Israel's the same height at him as the next yeah. at the next yeah. division down. He's just he's exceptional. He's yeah. an exceptional fighter. Mm. I'm not a fan. No, I'm not an Israel fan, but he is exceptional. Yeah, I don't really like the, the shit too much online and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. if you just look at him skill wise, it's just absurd. He's it's, very. It good. is absolutely absurd. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Joanne Wood I said the UFC would love they've given Joanne Wood many opportunities to go up and fight for the belt she never fought for the belt mm. um, I think you've heard her talk haven't you yeah have you heard Joanne Wood talk and I think it's that voice would just be it's, <laughs> she's so marketable and I just think the UFC have really They're helped trying. her yeah and it's yeah, it's, she's it's getting not, the north cut Van Zant treatment of it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She's, the thing is, though, she's always fought. You have a look who she's fought. She's fought, always fought quality people. So here, so she's got Talia Santos, who's ranked right up there. What's she? She's five. Yeah. Murphy. Murphy got the title. If she would have beaten Lauren, she lost to Lauren Murphy yeah. by split. If she would yeah. have beaten Lauren Murphy, Shevchenko. Yeah. yeah. That's where she is. Yeah. That is a. Shevchenko. I'll never forgive her for that Jennifer Meyer loss. I had Chef the Chico's fattest multi. Tell me how fat this multi this was. Multi was. Was it thick? Fat. It was, was it thick <laughs> with four C's? Yeah, oh, four. Yeah. I was going to say three, but now that I look <laughs> back, yeah, it was actually four C's. And the fattest multi. <laughs> really? Like three grand winnings. Oh, and it, all, I, all I need is a Joanne Calderwood win. And she was the heavy favorite in that fight. And then she gets arm barred. In Pretty first, fun. yep. What a bad loss too for, oh, for you dude. to watch that. <laughs> you, could so just, good. you could just suffer through. Come yeah. on, man. I should have known. Like, break the arm. The, la- the, the clue is in the name Maya. Like, obviously, she's good at jujitsu. Like, yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is what it's like. That's why I think that fight deserves to be up there mm. instead of. In, oh, in saying that, just swap them. Manon, it's, Manon, it's good. Yeah. yeah. In saying that, Joanne Wood against Alexa Grasso, the odds. Joanne Wood's 292. 
I think that is actually not a accurate reflection no. of this fight. No. I reckon she has way more of a chance. I'm going giant. Yeah, so After I'm just I. bagging her out for 20 minutes. I don't even got on the grass so yeah, I bag her out as well. Just more. She loses all the time. Your voice sucks, but yeah, I'm picking her. <laughs> Gra- Grasso's five and three in the UFC. I'm hell split. Mm. Really split on this one. Which I'm going to give you a bit of background on Alexa Grasso because I've written it here and you could do the courtesy of let me actually get it Shoot, out. That'd go. be great. Uh, five and three in the <laughs> UFC. She Damn. hasn't she hasn't stopped anyone as stopped yeah, it's anyone decision. since 2014 in Invicta. That's not a real that's not a real <laughs> organization. Um, she has wins over Macy Barber, who was due for a title shot. Uh, Roxanne Modafferi also beat Macy Barber. That's a, Macy Barber's face, right? <laughs> you know how there's that. This is listen. I like Macy Barber. I think she's attractive. Don't, but <laughs> <laughs> you know that app you get on that that filter on Snapchat where here's your face, mm. but it shrinks your face to like about the size of your nose. <laughs> That's what Macy Barber. I'll, I'll show you exactly what I mean. No, I oh, will. Hang on. I'm looking at it right now. Oh, actually, you might be onto something with this. It's just a mug shot, man. It's like a ba- it's like a someone drew a face on a bag of milk. Mm, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's an accurate. Yeah. That is I'm not wrong. trying to be mean. I mean, I don't even think she's ugly or anything. It's just like she's her like. I think she's pretty. Yeah, it's just the features on her face are just small. Mm. Yeah, it's the eyes the that do it for me. Face ratio is not there. It looks like her eyes look like she's a, 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 like a cow getting led to the slaughter. Yeah, she is. Yeah, I, th- I don't know. I think I'm going. Okay, I'm going. Uh, yeah, Joanna Calderwood on this one. <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah, yeah. Change your mind. <laughs> Macy Barber's good. Don't I think get me she's wrong. Good. And I think like this is another one, kind of like the Kai I picked. I'm like, yeah, could go either way. Yeah, yeah. Her, you know. Yeah, just like slightly. You got to be confident. Mm. Joanne Wood's got this on the bag. Next up, we got Curtis Razor Blades. Never get told. Oh, did we just not give you a pen? <sighs> is that why you didn't do? Oh, my bad. <laughs> I wrote your names at the top of it and everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> took a second. I couldn't remember your name. I, I just put that on there. <laughs> Curtis Rose Blades. Oh, uh, he does so well. Then he gets KO'd. Mm. His only losses. His only losses are to Francis Ngannou, yep. the, the former champ, who's now going to somewhere else because he's bitching about pay, which you shouldn't do. Let me go on a fight of pay. And uh, Derek Lewis, which he was doing very well and went for the takedown and got sent to the third realm. Um, I reckon he's the best heavyweight on the ground. Yeah. I, I'm confident. I haven't seen – I know if you're going on – are you th- looking at Aspen or mm. are you looking at Chris Dawkins? I think uh, Aspinall. How good is Aspinall? Jeez, that's I, oh, it's, wild. it's not. It, what it is is Curtis Blades better wrestler by far. Aspinall better jiu-jitsu. and it's like usually wrestling beats jiu-jitsu, Generally speaking, yeah, yeah. At least within the context of MMA. Yeah, yeah. In the MMA context, he he gets hit a lot. Blades. Mm. Um, he just doesn't get. As soon as he gets that one clean one, do you remember him fighting Mark Hunt? He had uh, Mark Hunt had him. That was in Australia from memory. Let's have a look. Mark Hunt, man, Jesus. Mark Hunt. That was pretty. That was a while, a while back. back. Yeah, that was here. Yeah, that was here. It was in Perth. Yes. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah. Right, Mark Hunt. Mark Hunt had him beat. Mark Hunt had landed a few, mm. and and he was on the verge of of finishing him, almost to Mark had almost done the walk off, right? Yep. And uh, Blades has got up and taken him down, and then won by decision in the end. So d- just absolutely, Dot Mark couldn't get up. Yeah, um, this is seems to be his his thing. He does like uh, he gets hit. If he can just survive the hit, then then he's doing. Fine. Do you remember what he did to <laughs> so Overeem? I just read Francis, and I was like, oh yeah. If you can just survive the hit, and then I read Francis's name. And yeah. I was like, oh yeah, that explains it. If he yeah. can, if he <laughs> can, point. if he can survive that one big punch. Yeah. How's the chin on Tui Vassa, by the way, speaking of oh, Derek Lewis? Awesome. Oh, yeah. How did he survive that yeah. onslaught? Yeah, that was so cool. Jeez, he's so good. I it was think. almost like that's the uh, level playing field between the two of them. They were just like... Who has the better chin? Who has the better yeah, chin? It was yeah. awesome, yeah. What a great call-out from Aspinall calling out Tai Tui Vassa. Yeah. So that smart, was man. That was so good. Way better than the Garn call-out that people were saying. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Oh, yeah. Way better. She started drinking the beers and everything. Yeah. Give him thinking, a minute oh, in the division, go. you know? Like, it's... They I do already re- don't have enough contenders. I do really want to see Aspinall and Garn, though. That'd be a technical... That'd be great. So do battle. I. I just want to see him have another fight. Mm. You know? I'm, I'm looking at these stats for Mark Hunt versus Curtis Blades, and it's not good. <laughs> what is it? What are the stats? Mark Hunt 
did really bad. He got one knockdown though. So yeah, that was in the first. Was that that was in the first yeah. round? The second, from memory, this is a while back. From memory, rounds two and three were extremely dominant by Curtis. Yeah, Blake. like total strikes. You th- you're talking thirty five of fifty three from Mark Hunt. And then 126 of 184 oh, from yeah. Curtis Blades. So that, that's lot, just total strike. And that's good volume on for the ground. He had a massive volume on the ground. Yeah, 56 significant strikes to 105. <sighs> really good. Jesus. Anyway, so Blades is good. I don't think he. And 10 takedowns for Curtis Blades. 10. <laughs> ten. Right. I, I, I think he was. From those 10, I reckon he'd only. How many attempts does it say? I reckon you'd only have about 12. I think you went 10 to 10. 10 from 10. Let me check. It wouldn't surprise me. With oh, 10 or 14. Mark Hunt was a bit of like pre-era, like, you know, really Yeah, he was old kind of school. Yeah. 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 Remember what Stipe did doing? Just kind of, he just walked yeah. in and tried really hard with his skills. And just had the knockout power. <laughs> yeah. And then and lost to Paul Gallon. for him, you know, like, yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> Jesus. But he was over the hill long before he retired from yeah. UFC. Yeah. Yeah, he faded away slowly, you know. And then when that lawsuit came out against Brock in yeah. the UFC, that didn't help him. No. Okay, so he's up against Chris Dorcas. Chris Dorcas, I thought he was primed for getting a... The thing is, we talk about title shot, though. You have a look at who's in the wings. you got mm. Stipe. All John's got to do is say, yeah, I'll take a shot. Do you think yeah. they'll give Stipe immediate? I think John... No, Stipe, I reckon, will... Maybe, if they, get, they might give him an interim. I think he retires unless he gets a, that belt. Yeah. Unless they offer the interim for him, I think he retires. Who would he fight for the interim? That's why I think they're doing this dick move to Francis again and putting another interim up. Because they're like, we've got to get uh, Stipe to fight, you know? If Francis is still amazing. It wouldn't be right if they they didn't give Stipe a fight, you know? Oh, yeah. But who would... would, The thing is, if they wanted... If they did the righty by Stipe, you'd give him a fight and you'd give him a fight where he'd be the favourite to win. Well... I'd give him could Curtis Blades get could, another shot after this? After this, yeah, that's what I was about mm. to say. Or you could do uh, if Aspinall wins against Tyre, you could do Aspinall and Stepe, or Tyre against Stepe for an interim. Maybe that's that's really good for the Aspinall's for up the to crowds, see. Yeah. but I think it's really bad for Tyre. Mm. Oh yeah, God yeah, <laughs> really great for getting people there because people love both of them, but it's terrible for Tyre stylistically. Aspinall's up to six. Rankings. Really? Yeah, mm-hmm. up the rankings. He's good on him. He's so wild. good. I love that guy. Damn, up five. Yeah. No, so um, he's up against Chris Dorcas, 4-1 in the UFC. Uh, he was on a KO tear. He just finishes everyone, wasn't he? And then he got hit by Lewis, and that was it. Lewis obviously just, yeah. Uh, he would have been, if he would have got over Lewis, he'd be in Ty's position now. Mm. He'd be in, um, yeah, Tui versus so he'd be Do ranked three. Do you think three. he would have beaten Ty? Uh, Dorcas against Ty. Ty is a different person now, isn't he? Very. I, I, I still can't shake some of the stuff that I saw, like against JDS and and um, <coughs> Spivak. Mm. Yeah. And who was the other one? Um, Bl- uh, Blug- Blugoy? Blugoy? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not sure. I just I think Ty. It seems again like with this division to be super tight between all of the people under the top three. Super tight skill wise. Mm. Give me one second. Yeah, I can use someone outside. Right, let's get going. Jesus. Okay, <laughs> we're back. <laughs> we're back. Holy crap. What? <laughs> Chris Dorcas, um, where are we going? Uh, he needs to end the fight early. I think he's got the hands to do it. I'm oh, yeah. questionable. Only because he can hit very hard. Mm. Um, what's his ground game like? Chris Dorcas? Yep. I don't think it's too bad. I think he's a black belt in BJJ. Okay. I'm almost certain. Let me let me just. He's been knocking everyone out there. He's a bit like Aspinall in the sense of he can, um, because he's knocking everyone out. He's mm. not. He's not showing he his ground game. Thing. Yeah. How are the odds looking? Uh, yeah, black belt in BJJ, like his brother as well, um, Anthony. Yeah. Do you think that Tell being me. a black belt in MMA these days is as relevant as it used to be? No. Nah. Not even. Close, no way. Eh? Not even. Close. Not to how it used to be. Because yeah. back in the day, everyone like. Everyone was pretty much, they had their specialties. They're all specialists. And, like, they had one thing they were good at. And that it used was, to be... Um, it was, it was market, like it um, was like karate versus wrestling. That's how it was, like, marketed. What did they you market it as? Belt in um, it was just like discipline no versus discipline. On the ground. Yeah. Anyone. Well, it's would. like you look at, like, Hoist Gracie. Like, fucking when, when the UFC first started, he mm. went on that big streak. Yeah. Just submitting people. And it's because he was going against guys that were all strikers. Or, like, yeah. and there was a wrestler in there as well. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, no, not anymore. MMA and jiu-jitsu, like, together they've changed so much. Yeah. 
Yeah. Agreed. Okay, so who are you going? Um, I'm going Curtis Blades. I actually think... Dream odds? Yeah, oh, the odds. Uh, Kurt, uh, Chris Dorcas is $4. Oh, that free money is going to taste oh my God. so good. You say this everywhere. I'm actually Chris genuinely... Dorcas. I can see I the logic. See, I want to see like highlights of Chris, though, because mm-hmm. I'm like not convinced about this ground game stuff. That's like... The deciding factor for me. Yeah. Yeah, well, just give me a second. Pressure in MMA now. Pressure wrestling usually beats jujitsu. One hundred percent, because it's MMA is more about um, body positioning and momentum, etc., yeah. rather than these like nitty gritty submissions. Yeah, it's about if I get you in this position, it's like good luck getting a submission. Mate. Exactly. So yeah. Khabib just absolutely almost said it. Yeah, hey, absolutely dominated. <laughs> <laughs> didn't matter if you were black belt, man. It was like, yeah. if he understands your body positioning, yeah. which he does because of the wrestling. Like, yeah. Dustin was a black belt and like nearly got him in a guillotine twice, but wasn't good enough. Khabib just kept moving. Yeah. And it was just, he knew the second he was in the guillotine that he's like, no, nah, it's not on. Yeah, exactly. Yep. He was so calm in there. Do Chris Dorcas used to be um, like, like obese? He's got, yeah, he's got a lot of loose skin, hey. Yeah. I he's think definitely lost a lot of weight. Interesting. His brother has that as well. Yeah, maybe it's a generic thing. Yeah, Curtis Blades. Anyway, once. <laughs> yeah, you two are absolutely delusional. Sure. Oh, wow, this is old. Oh, no, nah, twist off. Look how small that cage is. Tiny. Oh, that'd be so bad. Fine booth, Green, man. I think. Yeah. And those... Um, You'd love to be a wrestler in there, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, God, And, and yeah. the plastic, the, the ground, it's not canvas. Oh, yeah, and when you're walking, it's like... <laughs> I saw a thing um, <laughs> and blood it just yeah. everything when the apex I don't know if the apex is still a thing for the UFC but because COVID and everything they had to move to the apex in where in, I think it was in Vegas yeah. um, but the the ring that they were using was smaller than their usual one yeah, and lot. I saw this statistic of like this person they'd worked out like out of all the wrestlers that had fought in that time period like what percentage of them won against their opponents and it was like 95 percent of the oh, wrestlers really? beat it's so like hard all to of, yeah. know if that's a sign of the times or if it's like the ring yeah i think it's the ring I, it's the gotta ring. be the ring because there were three different sized rings weren't there there was one massive one i only know yeah. two that the <laughs> current one and the apex one that's all i know so the apex is smaller yeah yeah now there they, there was i have a look at this up. um I think one of the cities. There was one massive uses a, one. Uses a bigger one. Mm. It's not the uh, thirty it's not feet. New York, sometimes that's what I was just thinking. That's is that the bigger one? I feel like New York might have. I thought a I remember one. someone, a striker, commenting on it, saying that right. it's like going to be beneficial for them. I swear there was. Um, I swear there was a third one. There was a massive one. Forrest Griffin fought in this one once that looked like it was about sixty feet across. <laughs> it was massive. So it's two different ones. Okay, I okay. thought the three. I could be wrong. All right, are we going to wrap this up? Who are you going? Yeah, uh, so I'm from the top. Hit me. Hit me I'm going to go Curtis Blades. Dreaming. Joanne Wood. Yeah. Uh, Askarov. Dreaming. <laughs> Brian Barbarina. Dreaming. Aaliyah Latifi and Mark Jacasey. Jesus. Mm. Tell me. I've also done all my prelim picks as well. Okay. Well, we'll Can get... I say them? No. I'm going to say them. No. Neil Magny, Carol no. Rosa, Chris Gutierrez, Manon. Mm. David and Bruno Souza. And I'm confident in those picks. I think you were delusional in mm. those picks. Here you go. Uh, Into the microphone would be so much better for Sorry. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I got uh, Blades, Dreaming. Wood, Car France, Barbarina, Dreaming. Ilya, <laughs> Mark, Dreaming. Neil, Dreaming. Carol, Dreaming. Chris, Dreaming. Jennifer, David, and Bruno. Oh, I, I think I'm going to nail this one. I reckon, mm. I reckon. I think I can only see a couple of these being wrong, man. I can see a lot of them. I think you're delusional. I'm going <laughs> Chris Dorcas, Joan Wood, Kai Car France, Matt Brown, Ia Latifi, Bullshev, Prelims, Max Payne Griffin all day, Sarah McMahon, Chris Gutierrez, Manon, David, and Souza. That's it. Done. McMahon and Bullshev, man. What are you thinking? <sighs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking free money. You think right. you're going to win a lot of money? <laughs> that's it. We're done. Thank God that's over. That's this weekend. Like and subscribe. Anything else? No sponsors yet. Steve's Burger. Go down there and get a heart Steve. attack. Go down there and get a heart attack in a bun. They are delicious. <laughs> they are good. They're homemade. Oh. Check out OnlyFans. Feel free to like and subscribe yeah. to anything. Check I don't out care. our OnlyFans. Check out our OnlyFans. Is Alec? No yeah. subscribers. Threesome with Shane. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's Three it. Minutes, one cup of water. <laughs> thanks, everyone. Oh, nice. Thanks. Don't, whatever you do, don't drink the drink. Just leave it on the desk to create a big ring. Mine does that all the time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Nice. All right. Thanks, everyone. And we'll see you next week. See ya.